So Chris, pleased to meet you. Very nice to meet you, sir. Can you tell us about the new Zappi then? Uh, yes, we're uh, obviously really excited to be having the new Zappi here at the show today. Uh, this really builds on the, the Zappi 1, uh, which I think you know already. Um, same basic idea that you want to charge your electric vehicle, ideally if you've got solar panels from when the sun's shining. So this tracks the, the solar power that's available and balances that so you only put your spare electricity into your electric vehicle. Uh, obviously if you need the car straight away or need to charge it quickly, there's a, there's a fast charge mode so you can just plug the car straight in and it will take whatever power it needs to do. Okay, and the, the benefit of the new version over the old version with the smart feature? Uh, well, there's two, a couple of things with the, the new, new version. So we've learned from our feedback on the original design, so we've improved the design. It's much better looking and it's got this uh, nice shroud for putting the cable on. Uh, also, when you, if you've got the tethered version and you want to put the plug away, there's a, there's a, a socket here that holds the plug. That's the dock. Not, yeah. That's exactly right. Um, but the smart features, yes, so we obviously wants to be internet connected and look at what they're doing. So we have uh, a hub which connects your, your Zappi to the internet. Uh, you can use that with the old Zappi as well if you've got one and want to make it smart. Um, meets new OLED requirements from 1st of July as well, so that's a requirement. Um, but yeah, basically you can look at the performance of your Zappi, you can see how your car's charging, you can adjust the charge mode, um, set, uh, time charging if you want to, so if you've got a, um, you know, a, ch a cheap tariff overnight then that can all be set up so we get the most out of your, of your, of your tariff with your supplier. Okay, and the electrical regs you mentioned uh, earlier about uh, the changes to this unit? That's well. right, so there's some new requirements under the uh, BS 7671, the IET wiring regulations and, and also for the general requirements for electric vehicle charging. The two big ones are the RCD protection. So the RCD has to have a DC offset protection as well. Uh, that's quite an expensive device if you want to buy it separately. So that's built in, so the, the, the RCD protection's there. Uh, and also the wiring re regulations have tightened up the rules around an earth rod for external charge posts. So the rules say either you've got to have a protective relay, and it actually says that there isn't, there isn't one available at the time of writing, <laughs> or you've got to put an earth rod in. Well, we've developed the protective relay that's in here, uh, so you don't need an earth rod. Um, and it's, it's got two levels of protection, so if the, the neutral's displaced, then it will try to detect that, and if it's still not tripped the supply, if there's any chance you're gonna get electric sock, it will trip it then and make sure you're safe. And that's your own design, your own USP? That's it? right, that's a, there's a patent out uh, pending on that, so that's protected, that's the, the, the IP that we have in our product. Yeah. Okay. So, to, to connect the Zappi to the internet, what you need is uh, one of our hubs. Okay, so this is uh, a wireless connected to all the, the Mine Energy devices uh, using the 868 megahertz frequency, which is, it goes better through walls and buildings More than the Wi-Fi yeah. does. Uh, there's an Ethernet port on the back, so you just plug that into your router and that's straight on the internet. A little bit of pairing to do in your, in your live. Okay, so that meets the, the OLED requirements. It works with Zappi 1 as well as Zappi 2, so if you've already got a Zappi, uh, on the wall, you can get it connected and, uh, and out there. And also connect your older devices like Eddy for the hot water? Uh, yeah, so you've got uh, Eddy, Harvey, Hub and, and um, Zappi all talk to each other through this, uh, this wireless interface. Fantastic. Of course, once you've got that, everybody wants to have something on their smartphone, so we have an app that allows you to uh, look at your performance. So here's a screen showing uh, how much of your energy has come from your solar generation because that's where we start from looking to maximize the self-use of, self of solar power if you've got panels. You can see where the energy is being diverted into the different devices. So in this case into the hot water diverter eddy. Uh, and then on the front screen you can see where the energy flows are going. Choose one of your devices. Uh, so here looking at electric vehicle, you could, it's not plugged in at the moment, but you can change your charging modes. Uh, you can boost it manually, you can set up your time uh, period, so when, when do you want to charge on your low rate tariff. Uh, and you can even change the priority of the device here, so at the moment, uh, if I just move those two over, now any spare energy will be diverted to the, uh, the, uh, the hot water, uh, rather than the car first. Obviously when you want to put the car first, then you can come out the other way. Yeah.